get ready for a wet and wild one here at Watkins Glen. Uh, it's been raining all weekend here, and we, uh, and, yeah, heavy, heavy rain. I don't think I've ever seen it rain as heavy as, uh, what we're seeing here. Uh, no one really know. it's not like a hurricane or anything, it's just been a heavy rainstorm. The Arkansas Lights race had some, uh, pretty interesting, uh, results. Uh, qualifying is a very strange order because of, uh, the rain and the rain's even gotten worse today and there's a lot of rumors going whether if even this race is going to even go green they can't stay around for tomorrow because the weather's going to be even worse and there's and they have to be out of here and in Amaria by next Thursday by Thursday so they need some travel days so we got to be out of here by Monday or by Tuesday so and the weather doesn't look any better tomorrow. So, the water from this rain is pooling at the bottom of turn one, uh, up through the S's, down through the heel, which is turn eight. Turn nine's got some water, and turn 11 has quite a bit as well. There's some uh, standing water in five. There was also some freezing rain last night, so there are some pretty slick patches. They're trying to get us this track as ready as possible. However, this will be a very, very crazy race. Uh, not a lot of people are looking forward to this race. In fact, a lot of people really aren't looking forward to this race. There aren't a whole lot of fans here either because of the uh, weather conditions that we're currently dealing with. So, this could be a very, very interesting race. One that makes Road Atlanta look like a walk in the park. Let's get to it. And here we go around this 3.4 mile road course under the first pace lap. We're hearing word that they're not going to send it green right away. They're going to have these guys run the first few of this 36 lap race under the caution. And uh, first few laps while they're trying to dry this up. Yes, you're not seeing things. That is a Visa Lola. That is Nick Perkles in P8. Yes, that's how crazy qualifying was earlier. So, this is technically the final pace lap, and the race will start. Uh, so, it'll just be double file behind the pace car until they get this track dried up. Yes, you can see that even underneath the uh, pace speeds, these cars are sliding around. I, Vince and Allen are pulls that are nearly slid off the track there. Only going 70 miles an hour under the pace car speed, so this is quite the interesting uh, development here. Well, the race is technically started now, uh, and the race has started. We're on lap one of 36, and we're right now looking our way through the order. There hasn't been a casualty yet, however, these drivers are having a very difficult time, man. They're definitely getting some speed up there, trying to get back to the uh, main line of cars. And even the pace cars having issues uh, not sliding around, so this isn't good, needless to say, for some of these uh, drivers out there. Can I hide the truck conditions? I'm hydroplaning under the pace car. We can't race in this. This is ridiculous. Understood. We're going up to race control. Yeah, I've never seen it anything this bad before. I've never seen cars almost sliding around underneath the pace car. Or behind the safety car, so. And we're hearing word that the uh, cars will be brought back down pit road. Or will be stopped on the start-finish line while they're going to finish drying this place up. Can I? They're going to stop you, uh... They think it's too wet. Good, because there's some patches on this track that are really, really bad. Really, really bad out there. So now they're drying up the track, which uh, could take a bit. So we're just going to sit here and wait and see what happens. Uh, there's some track dryers out getting some of these really, really big patches of standing water. And, um... Right now, it, we don't know if this race is going to start. 
Uh, the fans somewhat came out for this race. It's not as much as it would have been if it was dry. However, uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen here, but there are they are out there. After another 45-minute red flag, they got the track dryers off the track, and I think they got a good bunch of the standing water off. Whoa! The 40... Maybe not. The 45 just hit the wall under the pace lap. But... Yeah, the 45 qualified third. It shows that the weather was really, really weird for qualifying, and so there's a really strange running order. Ryusu is in third place, but... We are getting word that they are going to go green, so after about an hour of trying to get this race started, they think they're in a condition that they can run the race in. However, this starting order is really messed up. And now we're starting to get the people closer to the field. This is one section that they've had a lot of problems with into the heel of the boot. And Vincent Allen... Yeah, you can see these drivers are still struggling now. However, Arkansas CEO Stephanie Tilton said we are going now. And uh, race control said uh, the race is to go green this time. Oh, man, there's some of those guys are getting really close to that wall back there. And Did anyone hit it? Close, but... Wow, they're sliding off big time there. Here they go. Vincent Allen comes off the final corner. This is going to be a real, real strange race. Green flag is out. And we're missing half the field back there, I think. Back up to Vincent Allen. Looks like DJ Curtis got a better start. But Curtis is sliding around up there. We got a bunch of cars. They're all over the place now. All oh, the top three just wrecked. Whoa, we got one of the Kingfishers in the back are all over the place. We got one of the Metervenies in the wall. Vincent Allen leads over R.O. Ryusu, Eamon State. Wow, a Metervene in second. And going for the lead. I never thought I'd see that day, but now we got a battle for second between Eamon Staples and Alex Allen. They're sliding all over the place trying to keep this car, these cars straight. Go through the order now. Myatt must have had something wrong with him on the pit strap. He pitted coming to the line. I think he was trying to uh, avoid some trouble. Oh, the 48 went off there. That's in the carousel. Now they go into the boot. Oh, wow. We got some cars hitting the wall down there. However, they stay in it. Oh, boy. Ryusu got the wall back there. Man, they're all hitting the wall over there. This is a really, really wet track now. We're coming up to another corner that they've been having some issues with. This was one of the big ones. Oh yeah, the leader's off. Looks like Stein Staples is going to get the lead out of it. Yeah, they're all over the place back there. Coming off that corner. Somebody else, one of the uh, Arkansas Americas got on the wall as well. That's Jessica Shelton. Come around the corner. Vincent Allen, I think, got even more of the wall. Oh, that might have been Shawrot got into the wall there. Yes, they're sliding all over the place now. Yes, they're way off into the dirt. Oh, boy, there goes the 86 and the 98's around. The 33 of Allen's around. Somebody's on fire. I think that's his teammate that hit her. That's uh, Marion Shawrot hit the uh, 33, I think. Yeah, we got cars all over the place trying to keep under control. Yeah, there's... Oh, man, that deck there. There's some pretty nutsy ones. Oh, there goes 44 and the 88 off. There goes the 94. There goes the uh, 16. Very, very wet track now. Fabrosis has got the front end beat up. Charlotte's slow going through the S's. Galligan hits her. Oh man, this is pretty bad out here. Weather conditions are really, really bad. There goes Sanfer. They go through the bus stop. We were expecting the bus stop to be one of the bad places in the dry, however. 
in the wet. They haven't had that much issue because it's been draining off as Randy Carpenter is now trying to go for the lead. Oh, Allen hit the wall hard. Alex Allen did in the two. Yeah, weather conditions are really, really bad. They tried drying the track off as best as they could. Oh, boy. There goes Galligan around. I think he might be done or he has to pit. He took quite a few hits there. Into the heel of the boot. I think that's the heel at least. Oh, wow. They're all over the place off their Carpenter's off. Staples is slow, slow, slow. Oh, man. They're all over. They can't run a race like this. I mean, two laps, and I think every car has damage. Fitzwater sliding around. We got more cars off the track than there are on. Than there are on. Oh, we got another wreck between our route from Jacob Anthony and somebody else. There's so much going on, we can't even tell when these wrecks happen. There's uh, Fitz from Curtis and some damage. Uh, of course, Sean Angel does as well. Oh man, it looks like both the German sports had some pretty heavy damage as well. Oh, some cars are trying to pit but missed it. Oh dear. This is atrocious weather conditions. There's Fabrosis and Shalrot. Eamon Staples has a big lead over Baskinger in second and Kevin Naro in third. Carpenter in fourth and Silver Fox in fifth. Sixth is Vier, seventh is Fitzwater, eighth is Washer, ninth is Ryusu, and tenth is Bob Jones, it looks like. Looks like there's one heck of a party down in Pit Road. We got Perkles in there, we got Allen in there. One of the Arkansas Americas is in there. There's, uh, I believe that's Fitz or Curtis coming out into the pits as well. Duncan, Steinmetz, and Michaels are all in there, so we got to see what happens to some of these drivers. This is where a lot of drivers got their damage. DJ Curtis would spin off after sliding into the wall, and a bunch of cars would slide into him. And a bunch of cars would have to stop to avoid, uh, I believe that's William Duncan back there. Even Staples from the lead would have a pretty poor time trying to get around this track. You hug the curb and spin off right into the wall. Second place of Randy Carpenter is Baskinger, I think, went off the track as well. Carpenter's coming down pit road, hits the pit wall. Uh, Dylan Young's gonna hit it too. Or that's Kevin, oh, I'm sorry, up. Oh, looks like Washer went off. Silver Fox wrecked. Uh, a few more cars are pitting up. There's uh, Fitzwater into the wall, there's Washer. Silver Fox got a piece. Durbin makes it in. Yeah, we're in for one heck of a race now. Down between, well, Stables is a big lead over Baskinger. Dutta is going to come into third, I believe. Fourth is Shonda. Fifth is Washer. Oh, we got one of them wrecking. Shonda spun. Dutta hits the wall down there. Oh, Davis spun. Myatt's coming out of the scene. We'll see how he gets through. He's a wet weather master. He spins. Ryushu's coming out of the pit. But man, this is nuts on pit road for damage repair. I think we're going to get a bunch of cars out of this race here on lap four. Both Staples and Baskier would spin down there. Staples would hit the wall. Here comes Baskier now. Oh, they're both pitting. They both miss pit road. So, yeah, they're both having some issues there. I think they both want a damage done. Dada held on to it there. Nearly erected it up. Ryusu on the wall. So, yeah, these drivers are having a very difficult time getting around this track today in the rain as it looks like Baskinger's all over. Even Staples now. He dives low through the S's here. Here they go. Down into turn. Or the bus stop chicane. Looks like Baskinger's gonna make a move down here. Into the bus stop. They're side by side. Baskinger's gonna have to let him go. 
Conditions are just too bad to be making a move down there. I think he's going to have to wait for Staples to make a mistake. Right now, it's all about staying on track as Ryusu in third place hits the wall. I don't know where, what happened to Dutta. Right, is that Dutta now? No, Dutta's out. We have to see what happened. Dutta was coming on a pit road and he hit the pit wall. Uh, right here, nailed the pit wall. Not going to do anything about that. Alex Allen took another up. His teammate took a pit road wall here. He couldn't control it. And there was another car that was spinning. That was uh, Dylan Young. Eamon Staples leads, but he hits the wall. And Jake Baskinger does as well. Baskinger hits Staples. Baskinger's going to take the lead, but he's definitely going to have to pit now. Staples is slow as well. Ryusu's might get the lead out of this. Baskinger's going to pit from the lead here, but like I said, he slide it wide and not be able to make pit road. Staples would, however. So... We're actually going to say this, but RL Ryusu doesn't have hardly any damage on his car. He might get the lead out of this in the Minturvany. When would I have ever guessed that a Minturvany in a full race would be able to get this eye? He hits the wall, but I don't think anybody's going to be coming out of the pits anytime soon. Staples and Baskinger are still on pit road as it looks like Ryusu is going to slide down by there. Ryusu. Oh, but he hits the wall from the lead. Bob Jones looks like he's in second. And this is going to be another close race because it looks like Ryusu's got a problem now. It amazes me that they're running this race right now. It really does. Because this weather condition is really, really bad. Staples would rejoin the race in third. Fourth place is like Durbin. Fifth is Sean Gallagher. Sixth is Dylan Young. Sean to seventh. And now we got a bunch of people who are just trying to hold on. Silver Fox would hit the wall there. Myatt spins. Vincent Allen and uh, Charles Sanford took a contact there. We have to see what happened to them. Charles Sanford would lose control of his car. And right there, Vincent Allen had nowhere to go and hit him. Vincent Allen's done. Sanford might be done. Bob Jones racing here. We're making it on a pit road, but Ryusu would slide in the water down there and not make it. Staples is coming back down pit road. Staples might hit. Oh, they got Ryusu's car out of the way. And Durbin would pit as well. Uh, Galligan's going to hit the wall here. Yep. This track is too wet. They got a red flag it. They've got a red flag this. Well, we're beyond the three lap mark. We made lap three, so the race is official. It'd be for half points, but... Oh, boy. Somebody got the wall big back there. That was Silver Fox. He's going to keep going. Myatt stays out. Oh, washers in the wall. It's like driving on an ice skating rink out there. Oh, boy, there's a big wreck between uh, Dylan Young and that was BJ Pashonda. I don't even know who's leading, personally. Oh, there's uh, Lamas wrecked. They can't run like this. Somebody's got to throw the checker. Or somebody's got to throw the red here. Bob Jones leads. Staples in second, Durbin's in third. Ah, uh, Washer's done. Will Lewis is struggling. Bob Jones' car actually doesn't look half bad, so Bob Jones might be a major good contender on these rain races. He's doing a... That car actually looks pretty nice. A little bit of dents on the side of it, but Bob Jones is doing an amazing job out there. Battle for seconds, heating up between Ike Durbin and Eamon Staples now. Durbin's trying everything he possibly can to get by him. However, like I said, the weather conditions are really bad. Staples got the wall. So now, what's Durbin going to do? 
our radio communication cut out because of the rain, so we can't hear the onboard radios with these drivers. Oh! There went, uh, Staples there, and Durbin's gonna get the spot. Bob Jones, however, is trying his hardest. Oh, Durbin's in the wall. Staples is gonna take the position back. I don't even know where these people are running, honestly. There's only like five cars left on track. So now... Staples is actually closing in on Bob Jones. Bob Jones might have gotten to the wall. Oh, we got big wall there. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Oh, there goes Durbin off. That's his teammate, or that is Bob Jones there, uh, his teammate. Oh, whoa, what happened to uh, Dylan Young? Dylan Young would pit wall as well, so... There's too much water out there. The standing water's coming back, no matter how much grip they put on the track. The standing water's coming back, and it's so much that you can't deal with it. Lamas and Will Lewis wreck. Shonda hits the wall again. A lot of water down in turn one. Myatt runs second over Bob Jones in third, so uh, Shonda's leading. Uh, Maya Rex. Uh, Bob Jones Rex. Don't know how Shonda got the lead out of it, but he did. In the Kingfisher car. Shonda's Formula Alpha experience. Racing on wet, wet tracks back in Formula Alpha. Jones is in second. Maya, or Maya's down to fourth, and uh, Staples is up to third. So this race. They're not seemingly calling it yet. However, we're hearing they're getting very, very close. Myatt's slow now. Got some damage. Looks like Bob Jones got into the wall. Staples did as well. Oh, Kushanda spins from uh, the lead. Down in uh, second to last corner. Here comes Bob Jones onto the scene of that one. There's some water down there. Jones keeps a hold of it. Staples does not. Looks like Bob Jones is going to pit, and he hits the pit wall, and he's done. So, looks like Myatt's going to try and pit. He's going to pit wall. Yes, he does. I think there's two cars left. Up. Oh, there's Shonda wrecking. Durbin spins. Will Lewis is in it. Staples hits the wall. But Shonda leads. And now we're hearing that they're throwing the red again. I'm guessing this race is over. Nine laps green. VJ Pashonda's your winner. Staples is in second. We have to they have to get back around this time. And I think, yeah, checkered flag is ready whoever gets back around first. And Staples is faster than Shonda. So this is it. If Shonda doesn't make a mistake, I think he's going to win this. Yeah, this race is being cut very, very early. We had four laps of under yellow. The first four laps were under yellow. Staples Rex. So now pretty much... All VJ Pashonda has to do is get back around, and he's won it. Durbin Rex, we'll see what happened to him. Well, Durbin Pitbull, that's pretty much all that happened. Will Lewis, Rex, don't know where, we don't have video coverage. Pashonda's just got to get back around, he duck, gets to that corner all right. There's two more corners he's really got to worry about. And since radio communication for everyone's out, so knows what's going to happen here, but I think yes, the checker flag is ready and raring to fly. And Shonda doesn't know. Shonda doesn't know that the race is over. He's going to try and pit. He hits the pit wall. The checker flag is right there. Staples might get this. No, Staples is pitting now. No, he's not. Staples is going to stay in it. Staples is going to get the flag. That's it. Staples wins. 
Is Afisa Lola gonna get second with Nick Perkles? There's only three cars left! Will Lewis is in third. And they're trying to tell Even Staples that the race is over. He doesn't know that the race is over. And I think that's it. I think Nick Perkles just won, or just got second. And Will Lewis is going to get third. Normally right now I'm quiet to let you look through the results, however... Will Lewis and Perkles were a lap down. They had not gotten... When Staples took the checker, the race ended at that exact point. Therefore, Pushanda, Jones, and Myatt got third, fourth, and fifth. Or second, third, and fourth because Will Lewis and Perkles had not gotten by their crash scenes yet. However, uh, right now I'm thinking... Yeah, this is the condition we're in right now. And the reason why they put Perkles below Will Lewis was he came out of the pit road. He was coming out of the pit road when Staples took the checkered, and uh, Will Lewis got the position. He was ahead of him at that point. Perkles was on track. Will Lewis had, was coming out of the pit road. Not Perkles, I'm sorry. So it's Will Lewis fifth, sixth is Perkles, and then everybody else pretty much wrecked. There were only three cars left at the end of it, so we'll take you down to the uh, finishing results, I guess, even though we're on them.